Hello, my name is Alexey. In previous free video tutorials we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. In this video review we will talk about biggest changes in Joomla 4.3 compared to 4.2. There are quite a few changes, let's talk about only some of them. Now Joomla has a GUI tours. This will help users to learn Joomla faster. For example, how to create article. User will see some tooltips, can click buttons, read this text, And now he know how to create an article. You can edit existing GUI tours or create your own. Go to System, GUI tours. Here you can see all these tours, all of this. You can change some text. You can change other settings. You can change steps, also can change text, other settings, or create new steps in existing tours or even create new tours. When I create website for my clients, I record video tutorial for about 10 or 30 minutes. In my opinion, it's a faster for me and better for client. Still, GUI Tours is a good update. Now in media you can sort object by different parameters. For example, by name, assign and design, size, dimensions, data creation and data modification. Also, now Joomla shows thumbnails for SVG images. Don't forget to add SVG here here and here. Without these options you won't be able to upload it. If you have empty folder, there is now an image and some text here. A new option has been added to the settings of the search menu item. Here is an advanced, here is show sort fields, you can choose some fields or you can choose all of them. This will display a filter to sort the search results. For example, look for Joomla and I don't press save button. We don't see any filter. Now I will save it, update the page and we can see this filter. Now you can filter menu items by component. For example, choose all menu items that were created by article component. In the menu model, for base item option you can now select URL menu item type. Now in fields you can create dependent fields. Let's look at an example. I create two fields. For example, first one. I called field one the name list of items, list value option one, two, three, value option one, two, three. Here I create the second field text. Here in show attributes I write a list of item option 1 or option 2 and now let's see an example in the article. 
here is my article, here is my field. If I choose option 1, I will see my text. If I choose option 2, I also see my text. And if I choose option 3, I won't see my dependent field. The other change in fields is when the article category is selected, that category will automatically add it to the field when you create it. For example, let's choose, for example, blog and create new. As you can see, in our field, my category blog was selected by default. Also, in Joomla 4.3, Bootstrap was updated to version 5.2 improved PHP 8.2 support and much more. As you can see, Joomla 4.3 has a lot of useful changes. Some of them, such as improved support for PHP 8.2, will affect everyone using new version of Joomla, and some will be used only for a small percentage of webmasters or users. In the following video tutorials, we'll take a close look at the various built-in Joomla extensions. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.